Hello, hello, hello. We are live. My name is Perry, and this is the camera carrier. Guys, sorry about the wait. Um, I actually did an entire show uh, without streaming and turning the streaming on on YouTube. Now, here's why. Let me give you a little heads up here. YouTube has actually added a new live feature where you can stream live straight from your device without having to set up an event, set up all the um, uh, parameters, the bit rates, the, all of that. You can just push it out and YouTube does the rest. Well, that's the new way. I'm still on the old way um, because you can set events on the old way. And I wanted you guys, so I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if, if I uh, mess things up here by doing that, but uh, there you go. Well, my name's Perry. I'm with the camera carrier and I see my stream is down. It's lower than the recommended. So um, I did record one. I might have to end up just posting what I recorded um, just so you can see uh, exactly what's going on here. Um, unfortunately, um, the stream is getting a little wonky. Um, and it, I'll, I'll keep going as long as it's okay. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is, uh, two things. First up is camera carrier, cameracarrier.com. That's my new site. And I really want you to uh, go out camera carrier. It's all things video related. It's all things, camera gear, camera accessories, video photography related. So it's photography, camera, you name it. Um, and I, I really think that you guys are really going to love this a lot. So uh, please go over and check it out. Cameracarrier.com. It's uh, it's a, my new site and I'm something I'm extremely proud of and uh, eager to, to get your input. There's a way to opt in for a newsletter at the end of every article. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, camera gear, check it out. Let me know what you think. So what I'm really excited about and wanted to talk to you about is a thing called Switcher Studio. Now, Switcher Studio is a, uh, a new app, and I'm going to show it to you right now. It's uh, an app for iPhone. It's actually been out in a couple of different iterations uh, on the Internet, uh, but this is an app. Now, let me tell you a little bit about me. I've always, always wanted to be able to switch inexpensively because you know i want to have all my cameras there i want to be able to switch live i love live video um it, it's just so exciting and it's something that that i've been doing for a while i've done the tricaster i've done the uh um atem by um uh you know the you know the guys <laughs> atem switcher so i've done a lot of different live switches and i've always wanted something that will allow me to um, switch my shows without having a lot of gear. You know, I travel. I want to be able to switch the show live. I want to be able to um, not have to, um, you know, haul, a, uh, like I said, haul a bunch of equipment around, haul a bunch of huge cameras around, just the cabling. I mean, I've been doing this a while. I'm not getting any younger. And I wanted something that was portable that I could actually do a live remote with uh, without too much fuss. So I'm going to show you something that is that actually blew my mind. I've been dancing around like a little kid for the past three days, ever since I got my new iPad. And that's a little hint right there, guys. Check this out. I'm gonna show you something. Down there in the corner, that is my switcher. And check this out. My switcher is frozen right now. <laughs> oh no. All right, hold on. I'm gonna have to, uh... my battery died. <laughs> it only lasted one show because I forgot to charge my iPhone. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let me show you this full screen. All right, so what this is, believe it or not, is this is a full-blown switcher on an iPad. Can you dig it? I hope you can dig it because it's freaking amazing. All right, so in the left corner up in the upper left corner you're gonna see that's the preview screen the right corner that's the live sc screen that's the live stream then the next you're gonna see four inputs okay four inputs 
can be your iPad, your iPhones, either camera on any of those, and or your Mac desktop. Check this out. That's my Mac desktop. Come on. Come on. How crazy is that? And I've got all kinds of crazy um, mixes that I can do all on my iPhone, my iPad. I can do it on my iPhone or my iPad. I can use cameras from either and I can switch from either. R truly ridiculous. Now this is all happening. Let me see if I can get my other phone. Stand by. Stand by, stand by, stand by. I'm going to get my other phone. All right, my one phone died. So now I'm going to I'm going to bring in a remote phone. I'm going to bring in a remote camera. Are you ready for the remote camera, guys? This is crazy. This is crazy how good it is. So, I'm going to fire up Let me get a big screen here. Fire up Switch your Studio on my camera or on my iPhone, all right? And I'm going to say it's going to ask me, do you want this to be a camera or do you actually want to use it as a switcher? I'm going to set it to camera and then down in the bottom on the iPad, it'll actually ask me which input and I can select an input. And as soon as that input comes up, check it out. I'm actually going to broadcast... I'm going to replace my phone that died. There we go. Okay. Now, check it out. Check it out. So now, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I've got me <laughs> in the preview. Okay. Alex. There we go. Oh, that was confusing. All right. So. Now you can see here, preview monitor, live monitor, four inputs. And then I've got some tabs on the bottom that allow me, just checking my stream, it says I'm still good. So you guys are hopefully seeing all this goodness. All right, so I'm streaming live. I'm actually recording also to my iPad. So as you can see here in the first tab, these are my inputs. My display on my Mac, my old phone, which is this right here. Perry Lawrence's phone, which died a minute ago, but I, um, I, I it froze. Uh, here's the the input. So I was I was filming my, um, uh, I was filming the, the iPad filming me. So it got a little confused. Anyway, let me swing that out of the way, so I don't hit it anymore. Okay, so those are the tabs. Now this this tab right here is darkened because that's the broadcast tab. That's where you set up where you're going to be sending your feeds to. Next up is your effect. So I can go from a, I can cross dissolve. Watch. There you go. Cross dissolve. Go back to my Mac. All right. Go back to a live camera. I can do a wipe or actually let's do a cube. Let's just jump. Let's just jump right ahead and, and do a cube. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So more effects. There's a twist. Now, I'll set that back to cut, go over to dashboard. So now I've set this to dashboard and uh, let me focus here and let me turn focus off on my phone. So you guys don't get seasick. There we go. Now, so I've set this to dashboard and what dashboard will do, as you see, as I put punch it to live, Preview to live buttons right there. Now I've got a dashboard. I've got me on the right hand side and filming the iPad. Crazy. Now watch what happens when I go, when I want to go me full screen. Nice, right? And so what you do is you just tap, let me get uh, back to live so you can see what it. What you do is you just tap two inputs and those become your dashboard. So tap that, tap that, hit it to live. There we are. There's me and the iPhone. So crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go through a couple more tabs here. I don't want to go crazy and, and bore you guys to death, but this is all happening on an iPad and two iPhones 
and a Mac. So I can bring in my Mac screen. There it is. I can bring in my iPhone. There it is. I can bring in my camera that's on my iPad. And I can switch between front or back cameras on the iPhones. Oh my gosh. Too crazy. Um, I can set a tally light. Let's see if I can do that with this camera. All right. So watch this. Uh, okay. So yeah. Now. Let me just show you that quick. Down at the bottom, it says tally. So if that's live, that becomes lit. Okay, now, so it's in preview. You can see now if it's not in preview, that darkens out. If I have that camera selected, there we go. The tally light will actually display now and give me the ability to turn the tally light on. Now look what happens when I do tally light. I'm going to put both. The, let's do this. There we go. Watch what happens when I slide the tally light. Ah, it doesn't do it on this one. Oh, you know what? Here we go. There it is. Yes, it does. Watch. Holy crap. It'll either tally light so that'll come on or I can use this <laughs> to illuminate the talent. That is freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How cool is that? That is so cool. All right, let's let's go to the next tab so you can just see what's going on over here. And while we're on this tab, uh, here's where you set your focus to manual or auto, exposure white balance to manual or auto. They can you can gang that they're all auto or manual, or you can ungang those so you can have exposure white balance and focus all separate. You can set it to disable focus when live and you can set, let's do that, set some stabilization in there. Hopefully that'll uh, keep you guys from getting uh, <laughs> too, too seasick. Let me focus. So when I tap it, it'll actually manually, there we go, it'll focus. So very cool stuff. Um, here's the audio. Uh, right now I've got my a broadcast mic, um, my mic I use for podcasts set up right next to me. And let me show you that setup. All right, there it is. And it's just going into my iRig. Okay, very ghetto. <laughs> That's going to the multi-jack of my iPad. All right. So, again, the audio is going directly from a mic into the iPad, and it stays consistent no matter what input I switch to. Okay, you can still hear me, obviously. So the beauty of that is I can hook up a mixer, set all my levels, my mics, whatever, and mix a mix into the iPad using the mixer. That's blow away. That really is crazy. All right, so let me show you one more a tab on here that I think you're really going to dig. This is the graphics tab. All right. All right, so the graphics tab will let you do cool things like this. I can select graphics. The top row are full screen graphics, okay? And let me turn off my uh, dashboards. There we go. Um, all, by the way, let me show you this one thing. I can do picture in picture. See that? Let me go live. Picture in picture, but the cool thing about that is I can adjust the picture in picture size. Check it out. Whoa, no way, Perry. Yes, way. Picture in picture. Picture in picture can be adjusted. Put it back down there, right down there. Boom, Bob's your uncle. So now what we wanted to do is show you this last screen that I uh, turned that off. Okay, last screen. Check it out. Top row, full screen graphics. Okay. Yeah, turn that off. Top row, full screen graphics. Okay. Trying to focus you guys. Sorry about that. And full screen graphics, bottom row, overlays. Okay. And you toggle preview on and off. You can see that come up in the preview screen when I, let's do that over here. Uh, that and then that. Now when I push this to live, boom. Probably the best way to do it is like this. Watch. Turn preview off. Okay, so I'm live. I send my picture live. 
queue up the full screen picture again in the uh, preview. Click on the overlay, push that live, push it back off, take it back off, fade it back out. Boom. Bob is your uncle. Guys, it's crazy. Um, making sure my stream's still live. Stream's still good. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to share some of this stuff with you. It is crazy ridiculous how fun it is to basically with, with very little money and the tools that you already have, your iPad, your iPhones. I had an old iPhone laying around. I'm able to put that into service. I can use my wife's iPhone. And I've got a three camera shoot with graphics. Now, because I can play back my, my um, iMac, you know, I can have video, I can have a PowerPoint, I can have anything I want in there. And if I go full screen, um, you know what, let me play a video for you. Let me see if we can do that real quick. I'm going to uh, uh, see if I, uh, five minute timer. All right, let's just do this. I want to open that with QuickTime. Now I'm going to go full screen. And I'm going to play that. Now it's playing. Counting down, It's going to, then it's going to go to a five-minute uh, countdown. So not only can I have graphics, but I can fly in video. So my entire computer becomes a graphics still store. So really crazy good stuff. I am so impressed with the company. I'm so impressed with uh, the ability to be able to do this that I wanted to share this with you guys. So again, my name's Perry. I'm over at Camera Carrier. Um, don't forget to check us out. It's at cameracarrier.com. And um, subscribe to the newsletter. Get all the cool gear like this, like um, video gear, photography gear, um, news tips and articles, how to's, whatever it is um, that you're looking to do with cameras, we're going to cover it. So thanks again. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to post this on the camera carrier site. I'm also going to post it live on YouTube. Hopefully it went live this time and I, because I turned the recording on. Um, again, you know, anybody can have equipment. It just takes a little bit of brains to use them. So thanks guys uh, for being here. We're every Friday, 15 minutes max, um, trying to be consistent with it. Uh, it. That's a challenge for me. So hold me to it. Let me know how you liked it. Give me some encouragement and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Peace out. Did I just say peace out?